Hey everybody on YouTube, good morning. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services doing another vintage video repair. As you can tell, we got a Betacam SP PVW 2800. This is one of the robust heavier duty units. Uh, this is a really good machine, but it does have its issues. Um, whoever sent me this, well, actually a customer sent me this, and uh, it wasn't loading properly, uh, Going tapes weren't going around the spindles properly. I had to redo everything. Uh, the biggest problem is, is when people get inside of these and they start messing with the guides, they start throwing everything out of whack. This thing was kind of a mess. And, of course, it wouldn't take large or small shells properly. The tape kept spinning off the spindles and some other different things. But, anyways, as you can see, we got this one working. I've got a large shell tape in there playing now. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. And, um, as you see, time code's working real good. Uh... If you're buying these off eBay, don't. That's all I suggest you don't. When people get rid of things on eBay, usually it's because uh, they want to get rid of it. And most, most nine times out of ten, it was messed with. So don't recommend spending a lot of money on old broadcast equipment off eBay. Not a very good idea. If you do get it, you need to send the stuff to a technician such as myself so I can overlook it. If it has a card problem, you're usually going to have issues. But normally the mechanical problem I can handle because I have all the parts and various things for this stuff. Cards, like I said, if you have card issues, the machines are not worth fixing. Because cards are hard to get. There's not many of them around unless you have another machine to part out. But the mechanical issues of it I can actually handle. That's not a problem. I have all the parts for that, rollers and things, and, and the adjustment guides and things like that. But this is a Betacam SP. A very nice unit. Got from a customer. It is playing properly. I just thought I'd show you this. Um... We're going to pop this tape out and see if we can put a smaller shell in. So that was a larger shell, as you can tell. So we're going to pop in a small shell. Let's see if we can get this one working pretty good. All right, so it does load really good. And as you can see, even on the small shell, it's working just fine. That's what you want. So this thing wasn't loading large or small shells. It does now. Make sure to keep your video heads clean because nowadays these Betacam tapes are clogging the heads really bad. So you must keep your heads clean on this. As long as the playback tracking path is good and the alignments are all correct, it's not the machine. That, you know, if, if you start getting black and funny images, usually it's because the heads are starting to get clogged. These Betacam uh, SP tapes clog just like older tapes too. Trust me, they do. In some cases, on the Betacam tapes, you have to bake them, but of course, on Umatic, to record a Umatic, you always have to bake those and other older tapes. But as you can see, this is a PVW2-2800. Just got done servicing this thing. It now plays large and small shells. And just got done redoing all the mechanics inside as well as the al alignment and playback. It's looking pretty good. But anyways, if you have uh, Betacam SPs and they're the larger units, such as just the robust units... Uh, I can do these. Uh, it's not a problem. I have all the parts for the mechanical parts of it and various different things. So if they need to be serviced, you know, it's not much of a problem. So hope you guys enjoyed this video.